Hello everyone, I Harmeet welcome you all on WS Cube Tech. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the keyword analysis of Pinterest. As I have talked already that Pinterest is a social media as well as a search engine. And the first step of search engine optimization is the to find creative and related keywords. So in this video, I'm going to talk about that how you can analyze your keywords for the Pinterest, right? So first of all, we'll talk about that what is a keyword, right? So what is keyword analysis? So keyword analysis is the process of analyzing the keywords or search phrases that bring visitors to your content, right? We have to find out some keywords that a user will put and he can see my content, right? For example, if you are a food blogger and you are relate, uh, you are posting something related to the uh, North Indian cuisine or the Mexican cuisine, right? So you have to specify some keywords that you know that your uh, targeted audience will search and you want your content to show them, right? You want your content to be on their timeline. You want your content to rank on their timeline, right? So for that, we must know that what our audience will search, right? And what are the related keywords that we should put along with our content, right? So this is keyword analysis and keyword analysis helps you to bring visitors to your content, gives you high engagement, high impressions, right? So there are two major steps on uh, while doing keyword analysis the first step is keyword research and the second step is placement of keywords right so in this particular video we are gonna talk about the keyword res research specifically because the most important part of pinterest seo is placement of keywords so our next video that is tricks and tips about pinterest seo is going to be about placement of keywords right we are gonna talk about that how where and how you can place your keywords right and in this video we're going to talk about keyword research that how you can find out keywords that are related to your content and that the audience will search right so we are going to talk about keyword research right so as you know that uh, currently in india the keyword research is uh, quite so let's talk about that how you can research your keywords or I'll say that how you can find your keywords, right? So there are two major steps from which you can find your related keyword that you can put over your Pinterest, right? So the first step is to find, right? You have to find your keywords by doing some research, right? And the second method is to observe. You can observe. Now the question arises, whom to we observe, right? So you have to observe your competitors. You have to observe people who are making the same content as you are the people of your niche, right? So you have to observe them and you have to observe that top ranking post related to your content and you have to see that what are the keywords those people are using right so you either you can find the keywords of your own by using few tools right i'll tell you in this video and the second step would be the observe we will have we have to uh, follow and observe the competitors of your niche right so let's get started first we will i'll show you that how you can find the keywords at, at your own all right so the first step to do that that you have to use the search engine of pinterest right here here you'll the type the keyword of your niche right for example if you are a food blogger and you are posting something related to the mexican cuisine or you are just a mexican cuisine food blogger right so i'm just gonna type the mexican food right i'm just typing here mexican food and here you can see i will not press the search button because i have to take these suggestions so you can see the mexican food recipes that could be our first keyword then the mexican food recipes authentic you can use the word authentic then the party buffet the aesthetic wedding reception recipes mexican recipes vegetarian right so you can put these uh, keywords in your profile or in your post right for example if you are a general food blogger and you post all the kind of food right so I'm, i have just typed here like just food so you can put these keywords like food cravings food photography recipes snapchat platters presentations and videos and you can choose accordingly all right so i'm just gonna type here the food blog 
right from this we can uh, take like four five keywords now you you can see that there is the other keywords like food blog food blog logo food blogger food blog name ideas for instagram food blogger instagram bio names ideas and names right so we'll do some other research also like food recipes okay i'm just gonna type recipes okay so you can see there are other keywords also like food recipes for dinner food is recipes easy easy word you can use food recipes videos healthy tiktok dessert for dinner healthy right so you can put the healthy word or the easy word or you can specify that these recipes are for dinner these recipes are for lunch right because okay so this was the first option that you can uh, find keyword from the search bar right the another method would be this logos here you can see these are like suggestions so food recipes i have uh, got some other keywords also like food recipes mexican chinese indian good easy dog best for dinner autumn whole comfort comfort food you can put the homemade right right so this is interesting right so you can see that some keywords are here also okay so this was our first step that you can find uh, the keywords from the pinterest now i'm going to introduce to you a web web application that is the pinterest keyword research right you can just google it or you can just uh, type it here i'm just gonna google it and this would be our uh, first website this is the key search right here you can find um, ideas keyword ideas for all the social media platform i'm gonna do for the pinterest only so i'm just gonna type here like food blog right and i'll put the search okay so as i'll click the search you have to uh, verify it okay so there would be some suggestions okay so here you can see that there are some keywords like food blog there are approximately 9900 monthly search volume the healthy food blogs food blogs names how to start a food blog these are kind these kinds of uh, keywords you can put on your profile or your post right so i'm just gonna type the food word right and i'm gonna just search it and see what results i get okay so i'm gonna just search it okay so i just type i'll just type here so i'm gonna type another uh, related keywords like recipes this is related to the food and food blog right so i'm just gonna put the search okay so you can see these are the results resulted keywords for the recipes for recipes there are 5 lakh 50 thousand uh, search volume and for the chicken recipes ground beef recipe recipes instant pot you can see these are like top uh, keywords we get right so you can check the research search volume from here and you'll also be able to check the seo competition from here if you just uh, verify your account here right so okay so these this is a method and you can just figure out all other websites also some other apps also are there right but uh, i as you know that in india it is complete pinterest is not completely developed right so i wouldn't recommend that but this pinterest method i have told you and this is the best method you'll get the most relevant keywords right so i'm going to introduce you to another method that is by using your mobile phone application right by using mobile phone application you can just whenever you will post something you'll see you, there's an option of adding tags right or in the description whenever you use the hashtag right there would be a list that how many hashtags has been put by this name and what is the monthly search right for example if you will put the hashtag food then there would be like multiple option if you will put like hashtag digital marketing there would be multiple options that how many people have put this uh, hashtag on their post and uh, what are other related keywords so this would be our first method by using pinterest uh, web website and the pinterest mobile application you can find out some pretty good keywords right so now we're gonna talk about the another method and that is to observe your competitors right now why and how we have to uh, follow our competitors because if somebody is on a platform and he's doing really great right so you must follow that what the what keywords he's putting into his post in his profile and you can follow them right and you can also follow them you can just uh, send them requests and they will revert back or at least they will see your profile right so it you will get an impression impression or the engagements right so you can just follow your competitors for example this one is a post right so somebody has uh, all right 
So here is this post and uh, it has approximately 37 likes it has and this post. So I'm just going to type uh, here some keywords like food recipes for dinner, right? I'm just going to type here and I'll it will show me some uh, suggestions according to my location, according to my region, right? So this here is a uh, profile and it has 10.3 million followers and 10 monthly, 10 million plus monthly views, right? So we can definitely get some, uh, uh, get some ideas and inspiration from this account, right? So you can see in his uh, profile description, the there are some keywords like food quizzes, cooking, cooking hacks and more, right? So there are few keywords are already added to his description. Now we'll talk about that what he is created and we'll gonna see that what kind of uh, ingredient, what kind of keywords he has put into his post, right? So you can see this is his first. So now let's talk about our second option that is to observe your competitors, right? So for example, we are making content related to digital marketing. So I'm just going to show you uh, by digital marketing or blog marketing or social media marketing, what keywords we can find, right? So this is a very important step. And I would say in India, this is like really important step that you can follow to get some great keywords, right? Because we have to follow or we have to observe the people who are doing already doing good in our niche right so let's uh, get started so i'm just gonna type here like digital marketing so you can say uh, digital marketing right okay so you can see there are few keywords we can get from this strategy like digital marketing creative ads design strategy codes agency ads logo design poster right so i'm just gonna uh, press the search right and you can get some keywords from here but we are gonna observe the our competitors or i'll say the people who are doing good in your niche right so i'm just gonna press uh, this uh, button or this pen right because this is uh, the first pen I get on my timeline so this must be really popular right so this post is posted by this person named bootcamp digital digital marketing plus social media training right you can see that this person has put some keywords in his name right so you can take few a keyword from this like digital marketing social media training that would be your keyword and you can see this is our image and from this image the text is overlaid on this image so you can take some examples from this like social media content ideas engagement booths expert status right and the another important thing that the what is the name of this post the title of this post is the ultimate social media content idea cheat sheet because i have searched digital marketing so this post is related to the social media marketing which is a part of digital marketing right so you can take few uh, keywords from here and then this is the our board right so he has saved it in social media so social media named a uh, board so we can add social media marketing to our keywords we can add the digital marketing which is our main keyword and we can add also social media training or the strategy right so okay so let's uh, uh, go to another post and we'll see this is our post right and Okay, so if you'll see that here are the name of this person, this profile, which has 60K, means 16,000 uh, followers, right? So you can say that big income paradise, social media marketing tips, right? Income from home, right? And he, she has already posted this post into a, a board called content strategy, right? So we can take few keywords from here also, like social media marketing tips, we can add. And the content strategy, we can take as a keyword right okay so let's figure out some people okay i'm gonna uh, go and search the people of my niche so from this here from all pins i'm gonna select the people right so all the profile will be here right so i'm just gonna click on any profile which is like popular okay so you can see in his profile she has posted or he has posted some keywords like a CEO of Gnochi, just a marketing one keyword, blogger second keyword, the social media enthusiastic second keyword, content marketer, technology lover, early adopter, right? And the digital marketing he has posted. So let's click on any of his posts, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna see and 
check this out okay so this is a post related to the instagram story tools right and you can see that he has posted in some other language right so but you can take few keywords from here the boards like content marketing strategy which we have already talked about okay so let's explore few more and you get my point right that you have to follow the people of your niche you have to observe them the what kind of name they are putting right and what kind of keywords they are putting into your po into their post or their profile right so i'm just going to figure out one more one last right so this is digital marketing lseg right and you can get some ideas from his uh, name like uh, enables coaches and entrepreneurs business success through social media marketing so social media marketing could be a good keyword right so let's get to this and we're gonna tap on any post related to the okay so this is our post and see you can see this is like content marketing strategy this is a post about content marketing marketing strategy so she has put his title like this the benefits of having a content is energy and this is his basically description of this post and she has added two times content marketing strategy and content marketing right so repetition of keywords could be a point right you can put uh, keywords in your profile in your post in your board right and the description of your pin right so these would be the places right so in the next video i'm going to talk about that where you can post these keywords right so from this technique we can figure out some beautiful and some creative keyword that will help you to achieve high growth for your pinterest account and this if you if your pinterest account will get high growth then it will drive the traffic to your website also right so it is really important to boost your uh, pinterest and for that it is really important to choose some quality keywords right so i have talked about two matches one is to find your own keywords and the second is to observe your competitors people who are doing good in your niche on your area of field right so you can observe them and find some keywords from here so if this video was useful for you then hit the like button if there are any suggestion or comment you can comment down and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any video thank you so much